Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Barkley Shut Up and GM Guide. Last episode, we went ahead and take, took care of the b-ball monster, and now we're basically doing with whatever the hell that thing is over there, and we're gonna actually see if we can buy any items. We have money, so... Actually, you know what? Nah, we don't need to spend any more money. We're good on items. Uh, I think after this, we don't really need to do any more extensive grinding, because uh, I want to save my money, so it's going to be a while from now before I buy any more items. So I might die a bit, <laughs> but I have plenty of items to suffice all that. So yeah, anyway, let's go talk to this thing. Bleep, bloop, blop, blip, blip. What the hell is this? It looks like some kind of robot or something. Can't tell if it's functioning properly or if it's just making noises. Yeah, let's leave this hunk of scrap metal. Keep going. Correction, I am a cyborg. What? You said that I was a robot. I corrected you. I am a cyborg. My name is Scanning Memory Chip for name. Error, cannot find name. Hmm. Well, your jersey has number 15 on it. That was Vince Carter's number. <clears throat> you also remember... You also resemble Vince, except for the metals and circuitry all over your body. But who is lost on the perch? Scanning memory banks for Vince Carter. Yes, my name is Vince Borg, tw uh, 2050. I was entered in 2052 to encounter error number X. I'm not reading that. Can't remember purpose. I am Vince Borg, 2050, and my mission is nothing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> my God. This is Vince Carter. Vince! Vince! Do you remember me? It's me, Balthios James! The Octoroon and grandson of LeBron James. Vince, tell me if you remember me. Processing, Balthios James. Found a match. Yes, Balthios, I remember you. On the day you were born, your grandfather slam dunked. Slam dunked you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and said that you would go to be a great man. You were a child when I be bald for the Mets. Met, Nets. Nets. Mets. Whatever. Fuck. Blah! That is correct. I used to be a b-baller. I'm playing for the New York Jersey Nets. Amazing! He's recognizing his memory. Uh, Vinceport, do you remember me? I'm Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Entry found. One of the greatest slammers that I've ever lived. Although his jams were a little lacking. He also is one of my best friends. Vince, it's really you. I can't believe it. I thought you were lost in the purge. <clears throat> purge. The great b-ball purge. I remember now. I died in the purge, but yes, I was rebuilt by someone. Someone rebuilt me. Who rebuilt you? You. Who brought you back to life, Vince? I do not remember. Vince Borg, you have to come with us until you remember. Yes. I will come with you, Charles. I must remember. Vince Borg has joined the party. Awesome. So we got Vince Borg in our party. Let's hope he's not one of those, like, party members that, like, betrays you or something. Because, you know, typical RPG trope. I mean, if we're going to have Cyber Dwarf, and then we're going to find hoops later on, I can only assume it. So we got enemies over here. Well, might as well make use of this guy. Alrighty. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What is everything? I'll just get the... Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, this will free throw. Crap. Oh, rats! Refractor beam. Deals hellacious beam damage. Oh my gosh! It just decimated the entire... Thing. That's ridiculous. Uh, guess we'll just attack. There we go. <laughs> that attack is awesome. Beep. There. Get out of here, you monster! That win animation. That was awesome. Alright. So, I'm gonna have to use an echo cooler on you. And you're fine. Alright, awesome. What's up here? More monsters? Alright, let's see here. 
get rid of the whistle. Wow, you can aim this? <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, this guy's overpowered. There's no way that he's gonna be a final party member. This guy's ridiculous. Ugh. Oh my god, that was stupid. And stupid as in, like, ridiculously overpowered. So it, our damage just went down, which is not good. Summer Slash. Is that damage or defense? I don't know. I think it's defense. Because it doesn't look like our damage went down all that much. Alright, Vince Borg. Do your stuff. Go! Okay, we missed. I'm really bad at aiming that, apparently. Doesn't hurt to do it. Jesus, Finsport, you're taking a beating. There we go. Now we'll get rid of you. Ooh. You really are taking a beating. And. And go. Boom. And you should be dead. Bye bye. Awesome. Yeah. Getting that EXP, son. Alright. So, where are we going from here? Definitely not here. I think? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna go up the, the other way. Because I saw another pathway we can go. What? I turned around like a dumbass. Oh, I'm not too worried about these guys. Was that Proto Man's team played through the whistle? That was awesome. Alright, there we go. We have a lot of defense. And we'll just take you out with the eye laser. Wow. Jackass is sleeping on the job. Come on, get up, Barkley. Jesus. Take this. There we go. Damn it. There we go. Goodbye. I have a feeling you're hit with a status ailment, and I'm about to find out what you have. You have glaucoma. Shit. Do I have anything that cures it? I have tobacco. Eh. I might have to buy more items. Damn it. Really don't want to, but. Eh. Oh, jeez. Alright. Can I not? Can I not? Attack? Okay, there we go. I was like, why can't I attack it? The game is not letting me. Throw. Uh, maybe I think the further away that the more they miss. Eh. I can only assume. I right, laser. I don't even think you need to use any of his abilities. You just have to laser everything. Vinceport, you know how to take some punishment, dude. <clears throat> Alrighty. So what's up here? Oh, a treasure chest. I'll take it. Oh! Chicken doos. Oh, dear god. 
Dear God, why? Nothing good comes out of b-ball spiders. Oh, take you out. Oh, wow. So your damage did get murked. Crap. And you're gonna die. Yeah, I knew it. I seen that coming. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Bring you back. There we go. My damage. Why? Why, game? Why must you troll me like this? Okay. These fights are getting, like, tougher and tougher by the minute. You got b-ball spiders, whistles that blow the hell up, and... Yeah. Good man, Vince Porn. That's how you do it. Yeah, we we leveled up. Vamp Slam. Nice. We got the Thunder Zauber as well. Minsborg became level four. Awesome. Alrighty. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm more I'm worried I'm more worried about the frame rate being horrible too. Hopefully that doesn't happen. No! Oh, pfft. I'm not worried about these. Vinceborg! Vinceborg, wake up! Oh my god. Alright. Ah! Uh. Rector Beam? Kill them all! <laughs> there we go. Screw those guys. Whistles. I'm gonna die if I don't kill these things fast enough. Boom! Don't put anyone to... I... I have the worst luck, apparently. Say you bastard, you put people to sleep. You're a friggin' robot. How are you even sleeping? You should be immune to it. No, uh -oh. whistles, they hurt. Stop. Monsters. This is all pre recorded, by the way, so if you notice that these videos are going up, it's because these videos are like if you're watching this part right now. Notice that these parts are basically all done. Like this, this entire playthrough is pretty much recorded. I'm just doing this for like a, a thing before like I get my new PC, so people don't think I'm like on hiatus or whatever. This is just kind of like a start of my marathon of helping a shit ton of games because I like to slack a lot. I did it. The hell is this? Halt! Who are you and why are you here? What? What are you? Charles. <laughs> I can't forgive your ignorance. This time I'm a human being just like you, but I have shed in traps of my human form and have embraced my animal side on the surface. I was called Aaron. Aaron Barber. But here I am known as Althea Silverwing, Vulture Master of the Night. We moved here because my persuasion. 
uh, persecution up above. We never knew what they would that they would hurt us like this. That after the surgery. Surgery. Oh, you're those goddamn animal people, aren't you? Berkeley, I apologize, Sir Atheus. We're travelers looking for the cyber dwarf. I have heard he lives in this village. We need to see him. Cyber dwarf. Hmm? Ah, the newcomer. Yes, he lives here, but we hardly see him. He's a real recluse. And I think it's because he's ashamed of his appearance. We don't judge here. Get out of my way! I'll, I'll be watching you. Alright. Hey, snail dude! Psst! Huh? Me over here. Come here quickly. I'm in dire need of your assistance. What the hell do you want? Just... Just here to... Just look at her over there. Who? Who, you ask? Who? It is not apparent who I speak. Is her beauty not visible to those th to thine eyes? Does her countenance, or does her countenance not violently stir the deep waters of thine soul? I assume you're talking about the. Well, forgive me for this. Fox, over that way? Not a fox, per se. Rather, a kitsune. A fox spirit, one say. To put simply, if somewhat in. in, in Intelligently. Oh, in that case, no. I see. And it's just who I'm. Um, she has intoxicating effect. That sounds about right. Anyway, do you really need help? I hope for your sake you can call me over to hear this shit. Yes, yes. As you have doubt surmised. Oh my god, I'm not gonna read all this. Jane Lindsay. <laughs> her poem, you see. I was wondering if you gentlemen can deliver it to her. I have tried time after time, but unless I choke each time without fails. If you would, could, you could just walk over to her and say it's from me. I'd really appreciate it. Stirs. Sure. I would be glad to help. I thank you so much. Just take this over to her in, in return. I'll have a reward for you when you come back. It's not much, but we don't have anything particularly worth here in Cesspool X. But I have some Mio shekels saved. I hope that will do. We appreciate, your, we appreciate your generosity, Eric. And I yours, at any rate. Here is the poem. Are you fucking kidding me, Balthios? We got no time for this shit. It's a damn love letter from a snail. If I recall, even a certain man with a far thicker shell than he wrote a few love letters in his time, hmm? Fine, let's get this over with. Hurry up. Sure, but first. Are you wondering at all how this poem goes? Nope. Just fascinates me how a poly anthropotic anthropologically anthropologically Oh my god, I'm not even fucking read that word. I can't even pronounce it. I'm so bad at pronouncing words sometimes. Why? Why you have to use big words? Oh exactly is a love letter between man surgically altered and become a snail. A woman altered to become a fox, written if Charles decided to say open it, you wouldn't. I'm not going to tell the damn snail. I wonder if it, I wonder if it reads like he talks. Stir the deep, dark waters of their soul. And all that shit. Just listening to him talk was bad enough. Well, here we go then. Perfect was our love. True was our passion. Untouched from beautiful hands, left me, left me feeling smashing. That break. Your snail friend's fucked. Charles, we need to do something. We cannot allow her to receive this letter. It's what he wrote on him. Let's go. I can't do that, Charles. We're in a bit of a hurry, however. So if that's what you'd like to do, so be it. Deliver the letter. I just think it would be needlessly, a bit needlessly cruel. Cruel. Thinking we can help Eric out, I do not wish to tell him to read this poem. If we can entirely avoid the conversation re regarding its calling, I think we would be, it would be the be for the best. I was thinking we perhaps could rewrite this his poem for him. It would not be difficult to write something better than this, but it's up to you. Rewrite the poem. Damn it, I guess we'll have to rewrite it. If I didn't, you just have to bring up more shit about me writing poems for Marine, huh? Perhaps, that's good, though. First thing we should do is ask Katuni for some questions. If I know her interests and what her, are her dislikes. Yeah, why not? You're Jay Lindsay, right? 
Well, yes, that's me. And what's your name? Barkley. And this is Balthios. Well, hello then, Barkley. Hello, Balthios. Welcome to Cesspool X. It's a tiny little town. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Listen, we're new here and we want to know some people in town. Could you, uh, could you maybe ask you a few questions and see what you're all about? Sure thing. I love getting to know people. Great. Okay then. Berkeley here will ask you a few questions. Bring them on. Okay, uh... What are your interests? I think I'm interested in most of my friends here in, in, are interested in animals. I love animals as so much. As you can see, even though I want to become one, that's how much I love animals. I love petting animals and love talking to animals. And being nearby animals, I all, uh, also... I'm a Kitsune, so I enjoy hunting animals. I do not eat them. I am a strict vegetarian. I do love animals too much. But I am a foxy, and what foxes love to do is hunt. So I, I like to find a little animals and sneak up on them and pounce on them and wrestle with them and then let them go. I love animals so much that I love hunting animals. Nicely, though. How would you describe yourself? What am I like? Hmm, that's a tough one. Just kidding. I'm a person that likes animals a lot. Back when I was uh, a norm like yourself. Way back before the bee bellinic. I worked at a zoo. It was a really nice one. I felt so bad about the animals being in cages. But I just loved them so much. It was the only place I could see them in retrospect. I'm definitely sorry about working there. And perpetuating that terrible industry of, the animal, of animal slavery. But I loved working there while I was... Because I while I was working there because I love animals. I loved animals so much that I cleaned up the droppings from the cages just because I was the only one who loved animals enough to do. That, so there you go. That's what I'm like. How do you like Cesspool X? How do I like Cesspool X? <clears throat> the question how do, should be how do I love Cesspool X? I would say a lot. I love Cesspool X because there's nobody that uh, hurt us down here. I also love it because there are so many people like me down here. People like Frank and Zaltar and Chip. And like Eric. People who share my ideas, viewpoints, and passions. But most of all, I love Seth X because so many people down here are really, really good friends. Thank you, Jay Lindsay. You've been a great help. You're welcome. I'll be one of the Kitsune's favorite things to do. Oh, okay. I hope that's information enough to write a halfway decent poem with. Let's retire elsewhere and compose this. Hurry up, we've been waiting for an hour. Patience, Barkley. Good art takes time. I might as well show you what I have. Remember, here we remember how we are. Ark of Cabal and the Amuse. I grant thee thus the ability of all great bards that is used, your gifts and poetry. O Muse, grant me words that I speak of such beauty. I am in bondage of aching to be friend. By the beauty I speak of, J. Lindsay. Honestly, Balthios, it's probably worse than left me th left me feeling smashing. I haven't written in a while. I apologize. Don't worry. If we could just fill that out, fill that shit out we learned that she's into, she'll probably like it more than the other one. I hope so. Anyway, after this, I have a few fragments I need help with. I have a few beginnings of some lines. If you need to make suggestions for the ends. Data analysis complete. Huh? What are you on about, Vince? I have compiled information gathered from Jay Lindsay, ready to assist in poem creation. You actually listen to us talk about this sh that shit? Correct. Vince, can you step away from a moment? Affirmative. Barkley. I don't mean to put Vince down or anything, but what now? He's a robot, Barkley. I don't think he knows anything about love. So take any of his suggestions with a grain of salt. Whatever, let's get this poem over with already. Alright, Vince. Any suggestions you have are appreciated. Here's the first part. I asked thee to develop the fragile heart and the magic mends in its cracks. I ask that we grow old, never apart, and that she... This is where I'm stuck, so tell me what you like here. Hmm. Not that. 
so fair or who. Lose so freely without a care? What if I... I like the last line. I'll go with that. Freely without a care. I think this is fine. Let's give it to her. Hey, it's you again. What brings you back? I was told to deliver this. It's a poem. It's from the snail. It's from Eric? Yeah, Eric. The snail. Read it. Long. You must try it hard, maybe. Thanks, I guess. You could see him go tell him I said thank you to him, too. I probably should come by and... S He's a cute guy, but this is... This bewildering. <laughs> Sir, I can't really match what was running through the writer's head. Anyway, thanks for bringing it by, guys. I'll ask him about it later. So, was that bad? Oh, well. We tried. Some money. Let's go talk to these people. Zoltar, it's funny how far away. Oh, <laughs> it's a shithole. It kind of is. You guys are in the sewers. I'm Charles Barkley. He says. You shut the fuck up. You have no right to say that shit. Wow, you're so nice, Charles. It's over here. Sir? Yeah, I am not going to read that. What about you, sir? Oh, why not? Helps us heal up. Yeah. There we go. We're all healed up. It's in here. Weapons, huh? We need them for the norms, but I guess if you need them for the sewers or that tomb of the newcomer's place. Anyway, I've got what you want. Okay, so what can we buy here? Hmm. So... Referee uniform? So I'm going to get the spiked bee ball. <clears throat> I'm going to get that. Since we're going to get the dwarf soon, I might as well buy this as well. Trench coat. Buy that for you. The referee uniform. Yeah, we'll buy that. Buy these. That's it, then scram. I've got nothing else for you. Wow, you're so nice, dude. I hope you go fuck yourself. Alright. So, put the referee uniform on. Yeah, lots of money, so, I mean... Might as well stock up on what we have for now. What the hell? Oh, okay. <clears throat> that makes sense, then. I, I'm not giving you anything, because you... I, I can't trust you. I can't trust you in my party, considering how ridiculously overpowered you are. Uh, I'm gonna sell. Let's see. 
Wait. Did I give you the trench coat? Thought I did. Well, luckily I didn't sell it, because that would have been stupid. Alright, sweatman. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not desperate for money. So that's everything? Is that everything we have? Yeah, add more to the brain. Kinda need that. I'm not too worried about my speed, to be honest. It doesn't add that much anyway. So, yeah. I think we're good. Alright. Now. Uh, I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, safe spot. Nice. Alright. Cool. Guess we're going up this way? Yeah, why not? Barkley, this is the Cyberdor's house. There's something I think I should tell you. Huh? What's the problem? The Cyberdor. He doesn't look normal, Barkley. Don't stare at him. Huh? Sure, whatever. I won't stare. Okay. Alright, well... So this means... You know what this means, guys. I'll see you guys next episode, and we'll go ahead and see what the Cyberdor is up to. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.